Hey guys, thank you for joining me today. To introduce you to my chocolate versions of my rolled buttercream and my crusting cookie buttercream icings, I wanted to go ahead and do a quick tutorial on how to make this adorable heart-shaped um, tree textured rose cookie, if you will, with our chocolate versions. So let me go ahead and get started. So this is just our rolled buttercream that we have that's already been rested. I'm gonna take just a piece of it. It's at room temperature, nothing special. So I'm gonna take a piece of it. Let's move our cute cookies out of the way here. And I'm gonna roll it out just slightly. And I'm gonna take a textured silicone mat. Now these are great, you can use them for fondant, for chocolate, obviously for our rolled buttercream. So I'm gonna lay that mat right on top of our dough. And I'm gonna use my rolling pin again to give me good even pressure. And I'm just gonna give it some pressure. And I'm thinning that icing out too as I roll it out here. We remove the rolling pin and we peel back that silicone mat and what we have left is this gorgeous texture. Now to put it on our cookie, we're going to take a prepared cookie, baked, already baked. In my little glass jar here, I have taken a little bit of corn syrup and a tiny, tiny tad of water just to loosen it up a little bit. Makes it a little easier to paint with but we're gonna paint this on, and this will be our glue for our rolled buttercream. So if you see here, I'm trying not to go over the edge, but right to the edge. We're just gonna layer on just a very thin little layer like that. We're gonna set this aside, and we're gonna take the same cutter we used for that cookie and we're gonna cut out a portion of that rolled buttercream. Remove the excess from around it, our shape. Take the corner of our parchment paper and lift it up. That's the easiest way I found to get these up off the parchment. Now, if it's really thin, you can actually put this in the freezer for a few seconds and it does make it easier. The vanilla and the chocolate version both work really well. If it's a little too thin, put it in the freezer for a few minutes and then try to peel it off the paper. But now we have our rolled buttercream and we're just gonna line that up on top of our cookie. Now, I like to go around the edge, if you can see that, and just make sure my edges are pushed down properly. You can make little adjustments if you need to, but remember, don't push down too hard because you will lose some of that detail on the top. And push it down there just to make sure it follows the contours of your cookie well. Ta-da! See? Now, I have colored chocolate crusting cookie buttercream here. You can use it right away, right on top. And we're just gonna make a rosette. And then a couple of leaves. Just like so. I'm pressing and then releasing my pressure as I pull away to make the leaf. So, that easy. Now, this will start crusting pretty immediately, but it takes a good 12 to 24 hours to be able to kind of package it properly without it crushing down, like especially these little tips and stuff and your petals. But if you're gonna ship them or stack them or package them all together, I would wait 48 hours. Don't worry, these cookies will stay nice and moist, but they may take up to 48 hours to crust really well in order to be able to stack them. But you will be able to after 12 to 24, just not too hard. 
But remember, it's never going to dry as hard as royal icing. So these cookies do take a little bit more of a gentle hand. I hope you enjoy the recipes. Please subscribe to my videos, join my membership, and you can get videos much sooner than everybody else if you like, <laughs> and merchandise. But certainly subscribe to my YouTube channel, and remember the written recipes are in the descriptions of the videos. Take care, guys, and please message me and let me know what else you'd like to learn.